More thanks. New at five today marks the six year anniversary of the murder of a teenage girl. Randisha Love was found murdered in her family's home January 12th of 2016. As of today, there have still been no arrests and no justice for the family. Fox House Patty Pan spoke with her mother today and joins us from Fulton County. Patty, a tough time for the teen's mom today. Yeah, today definitely a tough day for Katara Ham, but I can tell you that this is a mother on a mission. She has been fighting for her justice for her daughter for the last six years, and she vows she will not stop. I talk to her every day, more than once a day, and the I'm sorry. The hardest part is she can't say anything back to me. That's the hardest part. Katara Ham's world changed six years ago, the day someone took her daughter Randisha from her. It still haunts her till this day, not knowing why and having the person responsible still out there. The people who did this, you're able to talk to your family. Your family's able to talk to you. Y'all are able to spend Christmas, holidays, birthdays together. I can't do that. I have to go to my daughter's grave site. But, you know, I'm... I'm crying now, but I'm but I'm strong. The 17 year old was a junior at Westlake High School in Fulton County when her mother found her murdered on January 12th, 2016. Mrs. Ham and her children had just moved to her parents home on Hidden Valley Drive in College Park. She didn't even know the area or the neighbors. She came home from work at around 9 p.m. that night with her then 14 year old son and found her daughter shot multiple times laying in a pool of her own blood in the hallway. It's a sight she says she will never forget. Mrs. Ham tells me she believes it's someone her daughter knew because there was no force entry, nothing was taken, and there was no assault. She loved to smile. She loved church. She loved singing the choir. She loved dancing. Math was one of her favorite subjects. She was a straight A student on the principal's list. Not a day goes by that she tells me she doesn't think about her daughter. I'm asking you, I'm begging you, I'm pleading for you to please, please, please come forward. Now, I can tell you that Fulton County Police, they have not forgotten about this case. In fact, Randisha's murder has hit a lot of them hard, especially those with children. They tell me that they are working leads, but again, any additional information that anyone can provide can help. If you have any information, you are being urged to call police. For now, that is the latest here in Fulton County. I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. Patty